You're watching ZTV. Hello, dear ones, and welcome to Zariscope. It is, um, what day is today? August 30th, I think this month is almost over. I'm super excited. Real quickly before I get started on what I'm talking about today, I want to remind you to get um, Praying While You're Waiting for Him. This book is totally anointed. There's all kind of people getting married and all kind of great stuff happening. So if you haven't gotten this, go to zwriteswords.org and definitely order it today. Also, if you get my email, there's a coupon to get this book for 20% off. Um, through the end of September if you're an email subscriber get this one too this one I had to pull this out again and have to read through it in September because my sweetheart is a words person and I'm not a words person I have to remember to watch my mouth so um, this book is gonna lead me and guide me to do that to make sure that I'm speaking life and health and you know blessings and everything into his life and into our situation and all that stuff um, hi Tani love you um, today I want to talk to you about prophetic decree this is the second effective prayer periscope that I've done so um, first of all, let me just give thanks to the Lord. Father, I just love you. I praise you. I magnify you. I exalt you. I thank you for communion. I thank you for the future that we're walking into. And I praise you for the anointing that you've placed on my life. I ask that you please um, fill my mouth as I open it for you. In Jesus' name, amen. And I bless, bless, bless you, all those who are watching. Um, if you're able to share this um, podcast with Twitter or Facebook or wherever so that other people can come and get it as well, um, I want to talk to you about prophetic decree today. That's what I'm, um, that's what I said, and it has to do with effective prayer. I went to a service yesterday, and there have been fires in Washington State, so the um, person got up to pray, and they wanted to pray for the firefighters, and I'm thinking, oh yeah, they're about to make a prophetic decree, and they didn't. They were just like praying, oh, we'll give them wisdom and strengthen them and stuff like that. Okay, well, that is prayer and it's effective but that's like a if you have months and months and months type of prayer for it to be effective in a situation like that when you're in a place with other people who are believing and who have been worshiping and the presence of God is there it's time to make a prophetic decree and not be asking for foolish stuff like wisdom and strength and all that good stuff no those things are not foolish but you need to take advantage of activated power and authority in prayer and get things done instead of just like leaving things up in the air and hoping that they're going to work out in, in your favor okay so what I mean by this is if you've been praying with somebody, you've been worshiping, and you've ushered in the presence of God, okay, that's a time to make a prophetic decree. So if you know that you need these fires to stop, you don't get up there and ask for strength and wisdom for the for the people who are fighting the fires. What you do is you get up there in that presence of God because it has creative power, and you say, in the name and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, while all of us are here in activated agreement, we decree that these fires are stopping today. We decree that the rain is going to come. We decree blah, 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 blah. And you use that with a scripture. For example, Job 20. 22, 28, of course, is your um, declaration scripture, but it also has to do with Mark, I think it's 23, where it says you can have whatsoever you say. You bring in those scriptures, you decree what you need, and everybody's a prophet in that instance when they're praying, because what happens is, is anything that you are speaking that you need that doesn't exist yet or hasn't come into existence yet, that makes you a, a prophetic voice for the Lord and then as long as you have activated authority in Jesus's name then those things are definitely going to come to pass for you but don't waste time like asking for things that the Lord has already guaranteed to give you you actually decree and command that those things manifest and that those things happen for you don't ask the Lord for things that he's already said I'm going to give you what you need to ask for are things that you don't have like you have the authority to command the weather and you witness that because Jesus spoke Spoke to the wind and the waves during the storm and it ceased he said that every authority I have I've given you all authority over the power of the enemy I've given you dominion on this earth and stuff like that so we as believers if we want to pray effectively we need to make prophetic decrees and stop praying like we're begging and like the Lord doesn't hasn't given us authority and stuff like that that's weak it wastes time you know it's 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 effective but it's effective it's such a small degree it doesn't really get you where you need to be and that's why we see so much of the body and churches and stuff it takes them so long to do anything. It takes them so long to change because they're not actually using the authority of the word of God and that Christ has given us. You know, you need to take advantage of everything that Christ died for. Otherwise, you're wasting his sacrifice. Why would you want to waste that? He did a lot for us. So 
Again, I'm going to repeat, when it's time to pray and stuff, you need to make the know the difference between asking the Lord to do something for you, to make something happen for you, or making a prophetic decree. When you're in the atmosphere where you've been worshiping, you've ushered in the presence of God, you have other believers that are there with you in agreement, you need to make prophetic decree. Don't come in there asking the Lord for stuff. That's the whole purpose of you worshiping and bringing his presence so that you can experience that creative power, speak into it, and have things manifest for you. Okay, so if you're in a church that doesn't know how to use prophetic decree and they get up there and they're just wasting time and stuff like that, well, you are somebody who can go in there and say, look, I'm releasing the spirit of prophecy on this church. I'm releasing spiritual growth on this church. I'm releasing spiritual maturity and I'm releasing Holy Spirit on this church so that they learn how to make prophetic decrees and walk into the authority that Christ has given them. Don't fall for that foolishness. You know, there comes a time when you need to say, I I've had enough milk. I need to mature. Okay. And I need to take authority. I need to have dominion. I need to do all these things that the Lord said I can do. And if your church isn't doing that, will you do it? You switch the atmosphere in your church. The whole time I was in there yesterday, I was sitting there praying, loosing the Holy Spirit, praying that they would get set on fire. I was sitting up there about to fall asleep. And I know my son likes the church because he has friends there. And I'm like, dude, I can't sit through this every week. You know, it just, it just doesn't make any sense. We have authority in Christ. I get everything done in prayer, and if it works for me, it's got to work for you. I know other people that it works for too, so it's not just me. But don't waste your prayer time, you know, and don't waste the presence of God saying, Lord, would you please do this? Lord, would you please do this? Learn what the Word of God says, and then speak and decree and demand and command those things. Matter of fact, I had a dream this morning where I got a, a message, a text message that was saying, have you commanded the diamond you want for your engagement ring yet? No, I didn't even think about that. I had completely forgotten about that aspect of our situation. But that was the Lord reminding me, Zara, you need to speak what you want so that he gets what you want. You know what I mean? Like the Lord cares about everything. Do you think he's not going to care about fires in the state? Absolutely. So my the church could have had a perfect opportunity to make prophetic decrees and actually have shifted everything that was going on. But no, they're like, can we have wisdom? Can we have this? Yes! The Lord says you can have that. You know, that's not something that you need to be up in church while you have the activated power of agreement, while you have the presence of God they're begging for. You ask for wisdom when you're in a situation like somebody's coming against you in court and you don't know how to fight it. You don't have enough money for an attorney or whatever. You, When you already know what it is you need and what needs to happen so that your situation has changed, that's what you need to decree prophetically. That's effective prayer. You know, think about what your kids do. Like, do your kids need to come up and ask you every time if they can get something to drink out of the refrigerator? No. So don't do that to the Lord. You know, if you're going to come before him, don't do the things that you can do on yourself. And I mean, don't, you know, waste your prayer time doing things that you can do yourself with him. Use that prayer time when you're getting in there with him for the things that only he can do. Okay. That's my point about, about effective prayer. I think that's about it. I want to remind you, if you are one of my email subscribers, you can get a copy of this for 20% off this month and then also get this one the anointing is strong this book starts showing up again this week you know when um when i start saying okay i need to stop focusing on this i got a big launch coming september 1st and all this stuff i need to stop worrying about this boy and get my work done and the lord was like no you need to focus and i know i have other things other projects and stuff going on like my GoFundMe. that's not the biggest thing that i'm praying for right now you know that's another effective prayer strategy focus 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 until you get what you want this is what i'm supposed to be focusing on that's ordained by the lord that's what i'm supposed to be focusing on right now getting that marriage stuff taken care of so that we can move into the next thing as the months go ahead um speaking of the GoFundMe. Go to zwriteswords.org, sow some seeds over there. They will bless you. Um, go to zsauceproblems.com, click on Mentees. I have the Supernatural Success Portal that launches on September 1st. It's going to be really exciting. Every day there's going to be a new upload for you, and it's just a place where you can collect strategies for your toolbox that will push you into extraordinary success. All right, I bless you, and I command the blessing of the Lord, which makes rich and adds no sorrow to it, on you and your household in Jesus' name. Don't forget to... Um, Visit me on all my websites. I have YouTube videos, all that stuff. Facebook.com forward slash Zari Banks. I decreed 20 book sales this week and got it. Yes and amen. That's a prophetic decree. That's faith at work. That's good stuff. I do the same thing. I did it in July. I wanted five or more new mentoring clients um, before that month ended. And I got the five. And then not only that, I got an extra three on the very last day, July 31st. I had three new people book that would start in um August. That's what activated agreement does for you. You know where I got activated agree, uh, d d activated decreeing from? In my book, it's called Oh Lord, Forgive Them, 30 Days of Praying for Your Enemies. Back in 2011, I was praying. Thank you, Shamine Marie, my twin. Mimi said, you taught me well. 
um, praise God for that. The the book, Oh Lord, Forgive Them, 30 Days of Praying for Your Enemies. There's one of the days in there, I think it's the 16th, but don't quote me on it, that says, Lord, give me the power, the activated power to decree and declare so that when I speak something out, it happens in heaven because that's where everything happens first and then it manifests in the earth. So get that book, pray that prayer diligently, believe it, expect it to manifest and it will happen for you. I'm a witness of this. I'm telling you, I used to be in the pit, 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 and now I'm not. Speaking of not being in the pit anymore, I'm going out traveling. This fall is very excited. If you know anything about prayer or if you desire to be out traveling speaking and teaching and all that stuff um sow some seeds of prayer for me so that those will come back and bless you all right take care bye bye